Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, I'm going to show you a little piece of our new farm today that I don't think we've done any videos on in the past, but we're utilizing some of the property here for something that we've not been able to do in the past. Uh, we've done it a little bit with a group of the blue butts, but today we've got a big group of feeder pigs that are going here in the woods. Um, we're in the uh, foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, Appalachian hardwood area. We've got a lot of uh, black walnut, um, oak, hickory, a lot of trees that drop mast. And mast is a great dietary source uh, of protein for pigs. So we're excited to be able to grow these animals out here. So come on with us. Um, let's show you how we're going to move some pigs into the woods. We're going to show you the setup that we got, feed, water, um, the whole deal, soup to nuts. So hang out with us for a little bit and uh, let's raise some pigs in the woods. So real quick, before we get started, we're in the process right now of putting together our schedule of events for 2022 here at the farm. Things like classes, farm tours, farmer table meals, all that kind of stuff. We're, we're trying to figure out what we want to do. One of the things Sarah and I are talking about is, is there any interest in doing another pasture pig class? And so, what we would do it would be a one-day class here at Sheraton Park Farms, McGrady, North Carolina. So if you want to see where we're at on the face of God's earth compared to where you are, Google Maps, McGrady, M-C-G-R-A-D-Y, North Carolina. But anyway, it would be a one-day deal. We would talk about everything from farrowing, choosing and selecting and buying piglets, feed, water, fence, castration, cut sheets, marketing, the whole deal, one day, here on site, a lot of pasture stuff, out in the field, seeing how we do stuff. Um, you know, we give you the full experience. Farm to table meal. Um, just, a, it's a, we done one last year. Good reviews, folks really enjoyed it. If you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below so that we can kind of gauge and see if we've got enough folks that might, uh, might want to come spend the day with us and talk all things pasture pig. So if you're interested in coming to the Sheraton Park Farm for a class on pigs, leave me a comment down below. All right, it is moving day for this crowd here so we've got our new paddock we'll show you that here in just a few minutes we've got a new paddock set up in the woods and uh, we're going to pull this crowd out they've been here plenty long enough plus a little bit um, in this training pen um, 32 by 64 i think it is um, got the training wire down here along the bottom um, and so everybody they they steer pretty clear of it i mean you can see them right here they're they nose up to it, but they don't touch it. So we should be good and well trained on the electric. So we have been feeding them. We, we pulled their one of their bulk feeders out. That one's empty. We've been feeding them up in the trailer here for a couple days. Um, so we're going to drop the gate. We closed it up because we had the, had the coyote attached to it. So we moved it out and attached the new hauling because of going up into the woods and into the, the rough terrain that we got to take these guys. But we're, uh, we're attached now with uh, our friend Jamie Miles's trailer and uh, we're gonna see they're chomping at the bit to get in there so we're gonna drop the gate got a little feed and let's see if we can get there's 18 in here let's see how many of them we can get let's see how many of them we can get in here
Okay, so we got seven left. We'll get them on the next trip. We had three outside, and I guess we got a little greedy. But I mean, next round, these will all go in here without any problem whatsoever. But uh, so there's seven left, so we got them on the trailer. Let's get them up the hill, get them dropped off. We'll come back and get the rest of them, and that'll be it. Should be should be pretty simple. orientation we're up on the side of the hill behind the house and we're in an adjacent paddock to where we started the blue butts and so one day last week um, Jamie came in and set up a new paddock um, and this is a pretty good sized paddock we're probably on about an acre here right now all we've got are the blue butts in here and uh, they seem to be enjoying it really well as soon as they came in they went to work munching on some nuts and uh, hickory nuts and walnuts and some of that kind of thing some mass that had fallen to the ground and these guys are looking great another thing that we've done for them and this is uh, going to benefit the new feeder group that we're bringing in we brought our big black bulk feeder up here on top of the hill and so we're feeding everybody out of the bulk feeder and we brought it right next to some fencing just so that it was easy to drop it off but uh, man, they're really disturbing this right here aren't they where they're kind of where they're feed it where they're eating but that's typical you know, they do that all the time but this is their feed we'll go down in a minute and take a look at the water you can see here again single strand electric uh, this off of an energizer with a 12 volt battery uh we're getting what are we getting on it's about four thousand getting about four thousand volts on this so let's find a place to uh get our trailer kind of lined up and uh, get these uh get these feeder pigs off and get them over in here with the, uh, with the blues and uh, get them going. We'll go down and get the rest of them, see if we can get them up and uh, have everybody move. That way we'll have all of our feeders together in one location, which is going to help us on daily chores because we'll be feeding out of a bulk feeder. We'll just have to keep this full as opposed to... We were bucket feeding the uh, blues and having to keep the bulk feeder filled for, the, uh, for those feeder pigs that are down there. So this will feeder pigs in that right there so this will give us a little bit more freedom in our day and uh, decrease one of our chores man those blues are looking good up here beautiful place you know the the video really doesn't do it justice um it's it's gorgeous up here on the side of this hill wooded area we got some a lot of pine uh there's some oak some hickory some walnut in here the uh house is kind of straight away that direction and then the big barn is a little bit more over here to the left but uh, it's gorgeous up here this has been logged in the past we've not done any videos up here i don't think maybe one this has been logged a little bit in the past and so this the side of the mountain up here is kind of full of uh old logging roads you know this is the logging road here you just saw the road that we came up as a logging road there's another road right there going across the edge of the of the hill so and then back here it goes on up into the valley or on up into that uh, swag up in there. So, I mean, a lot of roads up in here. And believe it or not, we can get that big uh, that big 70 horsepower New Holland up in here without any problem. And that makes it really, really nice to bring bulk feed trailers and that kind of thing in. So, let's find a spot, get these guys parked, get them unloaded, and go get the rest of them.
Hey. I swear, sometimes I think you hit your head. Oh, he does stuff on this tractor that I wouldn't even dream of doing. I guess that's the beauty of youth and uh, not afraid of anything. You get you get old and you get scared of everything. That tractor will climb anything. Yeah, that tractor will. It'll climb. So this worked out really good. These are all blues. Um, all the crowd that just came up there, man, they're exploring, out looking around, checking everything out. Uh, everybody's trained to wire, so I'm not worried about them getting out. But they're, yeah, they're making their way down the, they're making their way down the hill there. Out and about, checking everything out, so. You know, raising these pigs in the woods, this is just, in our opinion, this is the best habitat for them. Um, you know, it allows them to root around for bugs and grubs and worms and nuts and all the good things that make a pig a pig, but, uh. You know, we still can kind of control where they are and control the amount of pressure that we get on the space through just this, you know, this single electric wire. So let's see if Mr. I ain't scared of the tractor can get that thing out of here and uh, we'll go load up the next crowd and uh, get, every, get the rest of them moved up here. That'll give, it, that'll give the first crowd a little time to get settled in. We can check on them when we get back. I see them down there, man. They're already... Look at there, they're already rooting around down there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. I mean, they're digging like crazy down there. Oh well. So we showed the feeder up the top of the hill and we're about halfway down the paddock. This is how we solved our water issue. We have one of our uh, field drinkers deployed um, red hose. This actually goes all the way back down to uh, the barn. I don't let you make the barn out. It goes back down to the barn to the hydrant. And earlier in the year, you know, we had the well on the property that did not have power to it. So we've got power to the well, and we're pushing water up here uh, through the well. So we've also got a couple of the uh, pickle barrel drinkers with the nipples on it, especially since we got the new pigs in here. Give them an opportunity to learn how to drink out of that drinker over there we'll let this one run empty because the blues and some of their buddies have already figured it out so if you're moving pigs into the woods moving pigs to a different area bringing pigs out of a weaning pen uh it will take them a little bit of time to learn those drinkers but they will they will eventually figure them out one trick we've learned is raise your float so that the level of the water is just to the bottom of the opening that will give them a little easier access to it and they'll learn it a little bit quicker so there's pigs everywhere in here all right we're gonna see if we can get these last ones loaded up here turn the spark back off on this fence because i turned it on on a few minutes ago we pulled that trailer out of the way <clears throat> just so those pigs wouldn't get any bright ideas. So I'll turn this thing off. Okay. Get this backed up here. Boom, chakalaka. That's where he's at the last time. I did not have it recording. We're gonna have to let him out. Do it again. No, we're not. We ain't doing that. But anyway, we got them all up in here, as you can see, as evident. And I mean, it went fine. They all walked right in there. We just shut the door. And uh, hunger's a great motivator. If you're trying to load pigs, move pigs, do anything with pigs, work on training them to a bucket or starving them. I don't mean that. Don't starve them. Use hunger to your advantage. Get them hungry. Feed them in a location, place, trailer, whatever you need to, to uh, get those pigs to do what you want to do. So this is the last step. We're going to take them up on the hill. I was just telling Jamie that uh, we're, we've got to leave one of them on the trailer because we're trading Jamie Miles um, over at Seven Stands. He's got a little Berkshire boar that is just as cute as he can be. So we're going to trade him one of these feeder pig for 
that little intact Berkshire boar and add him to our breeding stock over here. So we're gonna swap him out. But uh, there were 18 here. How many blue butts were up there uh, in that bunch? Was there nine? So there were 18 here. So we'll call it 17 since we're gonna trade. Plus nine. So that gives us math on camera. That gives us 26 feeder pigs for through this season to uh, process and sell. Um, and then we've got some, I've had a bunch of people reaching out asking about piglets for sale. And I've got, there's a group way up there on that hill and there's a group over here that have all got boars in them, in with them. Should be pregnant. Hope to be fair on here in a few weeks. Um, we'll see. So for those of you that are wanting piglets, I hear you, I wanna help you. I'll, nobody wants to help you more than I do and get you some piglets, but we gotta, had a little bit of a challenge with pregnancy. So we'll see how all that works out. But let's get this crowd back up on the hill, get them unloaded with their buddies. And uh, that should wrap this little project up. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Um, we got uh, got everybody moved and they seem to be well acclimated to the electric line and don't have anybody challenging that line right now. Um, we got feed, we got water, we got good power on the fence. I uh, didn't check it on camera, but we were about four, 4,200 volts, I think it was. So should be plenty enough to uh, take care of these pigs. You know, we get asked a lot about predators. Um, one thing, we've never had an issue with predators uh, in terms of pasture pigs. Um, I don't know if the animals are just too big, if they're put up too much of a fight, but we've never had an issue with predators. The thing that I'm gonna be kinda on the lookout for with this crowd over the next couple days is just some infighting among the group. Since we've mixed two groups together, uh, there'll be a little bit of a uh, relearning of the pecking order. Um, you know, the blues have been in here, they've been a tight-knit group for a while. The other piglets um, feeder pigs have been a tight-knit group for a while so mixing those two we'll probably get a little bit of a little bit of scuffle a little bit of fussing for a couple of days but they'll, they'll work through all that and we'll be no big deal um, but anyway I think that's going to do it again if you're interested in coming to the farm for a class leave me a comment down below and uh, we'll work out the logistics on that stay tuned for more information as uh, you know as the spring gets here summer gets here and uh, we get into a lot more stuff going on here at the farm but anyway like we always say <laughs> We got you know this we'll see how this works out should be fine but please continue to keep us in your prayers um, may god richly bless you and your family i will see you on the next